Hi guys, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerushk to a TV. Just got back in from the P.O. box. So I am here with an unboxing video. This is a story and what I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox it and then tell you the story because I know some people are just like, hurry up, get that box undone. Uh, but yes, um, let's go ahead and unbox it straight away. I'm going to do it this way so that there is no casualties involved. Cute. Okay, so we have the card and a little note. They're so sweet. They always give me a note. Wait, we'll get that <coughs> off. They always give me a little note. Oh, cute. And it's in origami. But thank you very much. And then they probably wrote thank you in Japanese, which, you know, right now I can't read. So down inside we just have tissue paper nicely packed that's good we're we're smelling the tissue paper now more tissue and da, 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 da. down inside we have the item here we have the item inside more bubble wrap which i really like they package this really well which i'm super happy about wrap inside its dust bag first thing we do oh nothing nothing pre-loved item so first thing I do is smell that dust bag oh fantastic Louis Vuitton written on the front of the dust bag to show you guys oh wow oh my lord Oh, fantastic! Oh, shut up! What is going on with my free love buys? Oh my lord! I oh my gosh! Look at that! That it. That's all I have to show right there. That's all I have to show. So this, as you can see, is my new to me Alma. PM in Damier Ibn canvas. This is just phenomenal, you guys. You don't even know in person. This this hasn't been used. I don't even understand. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is a 2008 model Alma PM, so therefore it does not have any feet. But usually the worry is with items that are in that in that model uh, design that don't have the piece of vaquetta or coated leather strips here with two feet either side is that this base is really scuffed up and is just marked up scratched up and in bad condition a lot of watermarks are on the vaquetta leather on the monograms uh, and the multicolor monogram but this <laughs> I cannot believe this Wow it looked so good on the site, but that's just the thing. Sometimes you think, oh, maybe when, it, when I get it in my hands, it won't be as good. But trust me, holy moly. I'm just so impressed. I'm hitting jackpot at the moment with pre-loved items. Fashion file, bam. And now these guys. These guys I have worked with before, worked with before, sorry. They are my absolutely favorite, favorite Japan consignment store on eBay and they have their own website to deal with for um, sort of eBay consignment buying. I do tell a lot of people and I speak with some of my friends here on YouTube and Instagram to try some eBay purchases. You know, the whole worry with eBay has really kind of gone out the door. You've got you've got eBay protection to begin with on most to all purchases and then you have PayPal protection so if you are buying your item on eBay through PayPal if there is a problem I know it's a hassle to have to get the bag 
authenticate it yourself or if it's not authentic then go through the hassle of opening up a case but with PayPal you can and you're always protected and then with companies like this which is a second-hand consignment store just like Fashion File just like Yogi's Closet in Japan these guys accept full return within a certain amount of time so like say 14 days if you're not happy with the item if the item is in fact not authentic and is a counterfeit they will accept it and you they they pretty much are foolproof they're standalone shops in Japan they have their stock in their shops I've been to the ones in Hong Kong they're amazing and these are the guys I use I use them all the time these and two other consignment companies but these are the sweetest people ever they are so lovely to deal with their shipping is fantastic and they're called gallery rare so I'm going to hold that up there. You can pause and look at it. I will leave a link below to their eBay store. They don't have heaps and heaps of stock. But they have obviously a lot, but enough to choose from. And they really, this company really stick to kind of quality. When I came across this, I was just freaking out. Okay, let me just show you it before I tell you the story more. So here it is. I'm so, oh, I, can't, I just cannot get, I just can't get over this bag. Okay. So there are the zipper closures, two of them because they lock beautiful, smooth and the Alma zip is, it can be really, you know, difficult. You have to sort of well oil this zip in a way. And then, oh, they stuff the inside. That's very nice. So stuffing out. Oh, this is the number one reason. Put This is the lock and keys, but I'll just put it here. This is the number one reason I knew this had to be my bag. Look at that interior. It is just spotless. Absolutely spotless. There is not one mark, one stain. It's like the person did not use this bag. They didn't. They couldn't have. No way. It's unbelievable. Let's get the tag. Hang on one sec. Let me get the date code. So it is, oh, I can't read it, FL, oh man, I think I really need glasses. FL0068, yeah. So the sixth week, week of 2008, this bag was created 2008 we're now in 2015 and look at the condition of this bag just look at this bag look at the handles so when you hear people say that Damir Ibin is so well wearing it's such a well wearing canvas it practically looks new for its entire life if it's well taken care of that is so true because this is a 2008 bag and I cannot tell you, this person must not have used it or yeah, just took really great care of it. But I'm pretty sure they didn't use it. That's why they ended up selling it. But anyway, let me just show you up close. I don't know if you can see. Each rivet here has Louis Vuitton engraved on it. And of course, being a 2008 bag, you're almost guaranteed to get Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Stamped down on the side here, which is the Alma iconic Alma position for the made in stamp oh my gosh I've got an Alma in my collection never thought this was gonna happen trust me never I knew I knew I knew I would want an Alma in my collection one day but when I was like you know maybe 50 or something 55 it's more of a ladies bag it's so grown up and I thought I wasn't you know, I, I would have probably wanted it in the vernis in like Amarant or something, in like the GM size or the MM size. I'll tell you the story. So, you would have seen in my last, how I packed my bag. I said, you know, it's wet weather and a lot of people have been asking me, why don't I get Demi Ebin bag? Well, that was what I was doing. I was sort of on the hunt for a, an Ebin bag. And... I was, the thing, as I said in that video, the thing that was sort of not stopping me but making the hunt for it a bit longer was what style, what did I want and not to necessarily repeat things I had done but 
what was my aim for it, what did I want. And going along the lines of being a user, not a collector, I knew that a Speedy just was not on the cards. Even in a bigger size, like a 30 or a 35, I just knew I did not want another Speedy in my collection. So to get a Speedy 25 in Demi Ebin, which would be an amazing bag, and trust me, it was such an amazing bag in Demi Ebin, I just didn't want another Speedy. I did want something similar to a Speedy size, Again, like the 25 size, just because that's enough for me. And uh, nothing really came up at all, even in the pre-love market that I was loving. Like, I don't love the Evora. Uh, I, don't, uh, I, I don't like the Portobello, things like that. And then the Alma came up. Where did I see it? I think I saw Alma Love on Instagram. Hi, love. Uh, her account is amazing and then I just was sort of like actually I might look into an Alma because you do have the option of two-way I know it's like as I just said in my Montaigne review that I don't like I don't prefer sorry a crossbody handle on the straps but you can attach one here on these rings so you can attach a coated canvas uh, sorry a coated leather crossbody strap or shoulder strap and have have that option so being able to have that option is always just always nice to know that it's really nice to know that did I smell the inside I'm just too excited I can't stop talking you guys this is ridiculous it smells like nothing absolutely nothing so it would have come from a smoke-free home so being 2008, you have the funny sort of Nokia phone pouch on the side and you actually have the coated leather trimmed pocket which is actually internal to the side and you have that beautiful pop of red. Let's go ahead and show you the keys in this little felt bag that they put them. Oh my gosh, you guys, check out Gallery Red. Just seriously check them out. They are, and they're so friendly to deal with. If you ever had a problem, that's another thing. Like, there are eBay sellers who, if they don't get back to you and they don't reply and they're, they're not very kind, you, you've you got to think in your head. If you did have a problem, imagine trying to get back on to those people. They probably wouldn't be easy to deal with. And almost every Touchwood <laughs> seller I've dealt with are really kind. They reply to your questions. They send you more images if you want them. So that's you've got to keep that in mind. Woohoo! So we have a very tarnished key and lock set. So that's cool. Two keys. Again, 2008, two keys and a lock. That's pretty good. Some people just totally lose all their extra bits and pieces for a bag. So, eh, sorry, there are the two keys. So quite tarnished, as you can see. And here is the lock. Louis Vuitton made in France on the lock there and the LV logo on the front so we can polish that up with some Brasso that's not a problem so yes hello Alma in Damier -E Bin oh my gosh so we have a Damier -E Bin piece back in the collection very good for winter the up and coming season of winter you saw me probably, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen me holding this bag in the Bondi Louis Vuitton store just the other day or last week. And I was doing that for reference. I, was, I wasn't looking at purchasing that one, even though that is absolutely gorgeous. I think it was one of the last uh, bags with red interior, actually. So if you are looking for this Alma and you want to buy it new, the Bondi Junction has a few with the red interior. Now they've turned to make it brown. Uh, it's not the pop of red currently. I think most of their stock is that kind of brownie burgundy color so just double check that I knew I wanted red I knew I wanted to buy it pre love to save uh, I did save a lot on this um, I got it for a really good price and uh, it's in absolutely immaculate condition it's in brand new condition I cannot believe it so it's basically like I bought it new anyway so I'm stoked Serena is such a gem she is getting me mailed out 
a key a key clochette um, in coated leather to hang on the front to house my keys so we are completely iconically Alma Alma prepared so we will have that and that will finish the bag off beautifully just to show you again the bottom but if you are looking in the pre-loved market for an Alma please check out these guys Gallery Rare they're amazing uh, I love dealing with them, they're super duper friendly and answer any questions you have or if you want extra pictures and things like that, they get straight on that. Uh, but that is my unboxing and reveal of my new to me Damier Ibn Alma in the PM size. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video guys. I hope everybody out there is doing really well. Give it a thumbs up if you like my new Alma. Thumbs up for Demi Rubin. Yay, we have a Demi Rubin bag. Completion. <laughs> Thank you for watching guys. Take care. Peace.